Good morning, good morning. It's time for Monday morning, yes, again. And um, oddly enough, we're going to focus on yes this morning in a slightly different way. So we looked at the shadow last week and saying yes to the shadow. And another way to come at that is to say yes to the impulses in our body, whatever they are. So, uh, a really good example is I want a cup of tea and there'll be a cup of my body will say no you don't need a cup of tea you've already had a cup of tea or yeah but maybe you could wait a little longer and maybe you maybe you have enough tea for today yeah yeah it's okay but or yes and and yes and goes like yes and I'm going to make that tea and I'm going to enjoy it and love it and have it nourish me and then move on with my day. Simple example, yeah, but impulse, what is your impulse? So let's just start right away. We'll come back to talking some more with some working with our bodies, okay? So everybody stand up and I want you just to walk in the room and I'll do this with you. And just as you're walking, just Notice when you want to change direction. And maybe you want to change direction because you run into something. Or maybe you want to change direction because your body just wants to make a curve. Or your body wants to back up. Or your body wants to go to the side. Whatever it is that your body wants. Just walk, move, breathe in the room. Following your body into what is the impulse of your body. So... You could start, if you want, if it's easier, by just being still on your feet and breathing into your feet, yeah? And just relax and then scan your body. See where there's a impulse that wants to move. See where there's a shoulder that wants to go up or a back that wants to wiggle or, ah, yeah, sound that wants to be made impulse what and then just come back for a moment and ground in again and notice if there's a place that isn't un very comfortable that wants a little moving rubbing loving nourishing right or maybe there's a place that's particularly tingly and happy this morning and it just wants to express itself and just open up a little bit have a little bit of movement yeah impulse so just take a moment and play with that in your body walking and maybe all you do is walk just walk and whenever you feel the impulse to change direction you just change direction nothing fancy right just back up go sideways i'm walking forwards now i'm just going to turn to the left and maybe i'll come around and go to the right yeah just Play a little with it. See what happens. Just take a moment and see what happens. If you just follow whatever impulse is arising in your body. And if that doesn't have, if nothing's happening with that, that's fine. Then just walk around in the room and notice your breath and notice your belly. Soften your belly. Yeah. Ah. Oh. And as you breathe and move, things will start to present themselves. It's kind of cool. Hmm. And I want you to give yourself permission to play with that this week. Play with what are the impulses of my body? And if I follow those impulses, what happens? Another way you could play with this that's really fun is put a pin on a paper or a colored pencil or a crayon and let your hand move itself on the paper. And maybe your hand says still and maybe it moves and then gets still. Just play with how do I respond, right? Yes and to the impulses of my body. It's such an amazing thing. And so one more piece for you today, a little extra piece today is when you hear a no coming up through your body, turn towards it, love it, and ask it, what do you want me to know? 
What is it that you're needing? Where? I wonder what this no is about. I wonder what this no is telling me. And let it transform into a yes and. So maybe I'm getting a no to doing the, the work that I need to do today, the calls that I need to make. It's like, okay, I turn towards that. I sit with it. I thank it. I thank it for allowing me to have some awareness for noticing. And I ask it, what is it you want me to know? What is it that I need to do so I can come to a place of, yes, I will make these calls and then I get to take a nice long walk in the snow, right? So I find the yes to getting it done because that will give me some peace and the and is the reward. The and is, ah, yeah, I get to take a walk in the snow. And maybe for you, you go, you ask your, your no, and it says, take a walk in the snow first, and then you'll be ready to do the calls, right? Just listening, listening, listening to the information that your body has. Because we live so much in no, or yes, but, oh yeah, but. We want to move all that into that peaceful, breathing, open-hearted, yes, and. And we do that by turning towards it, just like turning towards the shadow. We turn towards it, we open to it, we listen to it, we love it, listening. All right, have a good time this week, following your impulses. We've really, really, really been taught not to follow those impulses all through the years. So what happens if we start letting them be the path that we bow down to, the path of our impulses. All right, really nice, really nice to be with you today and for me to look forward to my week of following my impulses. All right, love you all. See you next week.